<laughs> Smeared your blistered juice all over her cheeks. Disgusting. Are we live, man? Yeah, I think so. Episode number 31 of the Muddy and Michael Fully Actual Podcast, and we are here at the Great Oak. Yeah, we've named it, so deal with that. Why do we call it the Great Oak? Because uh, there's trees sounds in the front good. yard, and it sounds... But you could shorten it to the oak. I originally wanted the brownery. Yeah, yeah the no, brownery but it's not about me. You guys are. Why don't a part we? Of this um, too. Why don't we throw it out to the Flele Klulua? Oh. <laughs> We're trying to think of a name for the house. What? Have you done a poo? Yes. Show me. See how easy it is for you to get up and walk around now, Matt, with your Actually, yeah, the, with uh, your new milking stool. The, milking stool does provide Where the fuck are you going? Where are you, Flala? Huh? Oh, Flala, clearly. Oh, oh clear. Uh, uh, um, we're th- trying to think of a name for our house This house Can you guys please leave your suggestions in the comments below We thought of The oak but the more I say it The more I realise how shit that yeah, is Yeah I've decided I hate it The brownery was one what We was all agreed one? The brownery is too hard what about, to say um, something, Was it something about feathers or something there was a few good ones in oh, there. There was. You said Suncorp Stadium. <laughs> Suncorp was an option. What's fish? Oh yeah. What's and what's fish was an option for the name of this house. What's a fish? Yeah. What's a fish? Yeah. See, but that sounds. <laughs> oh, let's. Where are we, where are we watching it? What's a at, fish? At, what's a fish? We're going to oh, what's a fish? Oh, a fish it's, is an animal in the water, but like, where are we going? What's a fish? <laughs> oh, I just told you what a fish was, but where are we oh, going? Oh no no. You said you said um. Let's call it 7.30. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that too. So they'd be like, what, where, where are we meeting? 7.30, yeah, but where? At 8. At 8. <laughs> <laughs> Meet at 7.30 at 8. <laughs> so like, yeah, we'll, we'll put it to you guys. The oak is shit. We're ditching that. But right. I, yeah. For we'll now, know it yeah. when we hear it. We'll know it'll appeal to everyone and we'll all nod and go, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I guess it was funny when we were... Everyone was stoned. Yeah. Um, speaking of stoned, we had a boys' night on the week just gone here. We had all the... Because the house is pretty much set up now. And we just had some just fucking close mates around and... and um, look, Did some what, windmills. And uh, Dave ended up being one of our old friends. Uh, brought a big old bag of mushrooms. And, um, yeah. We ended up partaking a little bit. And it was a fucking fun night. While we were fucking peeking on mushrooms... We um, walked to this um, nearby abandoned house and had a bit of a walk through, which was exciting, wasn't it? You didn't come, Brown. Oh, Brown. Yeah, I was, was very bed, tired. I was like, you guys go. <laughs> oh. but, but there was a funny moment where we, I realized it was like an hour, because obviously I was not a mushroom, but everyone else was. But there was like an hour where we stood at our neighbor's fence and just talk to their horses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so dude. long. One of, their, horses one of the on neighbors, shrooms? one of them kicked the other in the head fucking hard. One yeah, of them so far, like, bang! bang! He bit it's my fucking, knuckle. Yeah. And one, yeah. One of the horses is so friendly and the other one is such a fucking cunt. Yeah, especially yeah. to you. He hates Marty. Yeah, I think I approach it a bit too... Um, Aggressive. Uh, yeah, my uh, frequency is too high yeah, for the it. Adrenals yeah. not giving up the right sense. Gland. Yeah, imagine if like it's fully just trapped in this fucking horse body. That soul. Yeah, it would suck being a. I horse. don't know if it would suck. I think it would a, be okay. A bird is okay. You can. Okay, fly. what about a free horse? One that's not in a fucking backyard. That mm, would be one fun. like a Mongolian horse. Uh, do you have a family and you yeah, can? Hundred, well, can yeah, Can you talk oh. horse and the other horse yeah, can the, understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, can horses fuck, communicate. Fuck horse chicks. But did you see the horses? They were just angry at each other. Yeah, but it's also much a much simpler life. They don't have to worry yeah. about the world ending. There's no, they they just sit there and get fed. And those two are trapped a in the fucking yard holiday. Okay. It's a fucking holiday. I'd rather them. be a bird over a horse, though. Yeah, a bird. Well, there you go. There's another animal that it's it's probably peaceful being most animals. Humans are, are born with the curse of knowing that we are going to die, and that constantly plagues on your mind. All animals, they don't know that. They're not self aware enough to know that they're going to die one day. So they never have the fear of death in them you fucking can't yeah so we have a the hardest technically yes 100 percent. we're aware sorry but you know there are many benefits to being humans but there's some terrible 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 things the queen's dead who cares <laughs> like fuck me why are so many people so bent up because the fucking queen is dead it's all you see on on mainstream media it's just queen 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 well, you can't who really, fucking cares? Who really cares? But why do you guys care that people says. care? 
because uh, do, 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 do. I don't I'm care. I'm curious I'm caring, but as yeah, to fuck, why. Who cares? As to why, like, of course, it's sad that someone has passed, but e- everyone dies, and yep. there's it happens all the time. She's just a person who was born into a family. And it's like, she hasn't even fucking earned, you don't earn royalty. You just born into it. it. Princess Diana, it was sadder when she died than the queen. Fact. Uh, yeah. Look, and, and I was only saying, a little girl then. And and not saying that the fucking queen's like, you know, that we hate her and it's like, Ugh. it's just like. She's yeah, old, she's, she's dead, she's, move She on. lived a very long, good life. Like 96 is a fucking very good effort. She did it. All right. She had a good run. She did a fucking great job. And now fucking let's move on. We don't need to go on about the fucking queen. They're making a oh. public holiday now for her in a yeah. day. I found out today, Brown. Yeah, it's the one. That's, remember how I said I've got Thursday off? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about that. But it was like a week ago. <laughs> fucking, there you go. The queen. Yeah, the well, queen is dead. And she's on all our money. Anyway. And she had three meals a day. Anyway, that's the um, the, and we're fucking working our asses off the last couple of weeks because next week we're having a week off again. Remember, every ten weeks we have one week off, and that's lovely. It's life saving. I cannot wait for when that. When does that start? Hey, when does next that start? Kalele. Next week. Yeah, yeah. The after tomorrow, after Friday, we're fucking on. We have, oh, that's good. I get the day off on your yeah, exactly. week off. So I get to spend at least one day with you. So next, yeah. we're gonna film the next podcast on the Queen's death holiday day. In her honor. Uh, should we reveal that or will Lockie watch it? Catch on to us. Oh, it's all right. We'll we'll think of something. We're we'll not. Wait, do. let's just say we're not filming it there for Lockie. Yeah, yeah. But if everyone Lockie, else, Lockie, if you're watching, we're filming it on Wednesday morning. All right. <laughs> That's when we're filming it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, basically, so- I reckon it's time. What else has happened? Yeah, that's we, we had a party you know. day. We fucking yeah, we that's saw what the band on the weekend. Place. Oh, still we, a bit sick. Yeah, no, I sent this to you, but I felt this would, I should reveal this with the uh, to the people. So, um, uh, remember the French dentist thing I sent you? Oh, for fuck's sake! But uh, it's it's a good that, that happened over the week. A French dentist was jailed for deliberately pulling the patient's teeth out for no reason. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I remember I see, I see, I saw that. Yeah. So he was getting patients in. He's saying, you need your teeth out. And he was ripping them out. Oh, like when you take a car into the mechanic and they say, oh, these things are all broken. So he must get off over pulling out other people. Oh, he just makes more money. Uh, Yeah. He made, yeah. He made millions because these people needed, he's making these people get procedures that they didn't need. Oh, that's very clever. That's actually smart. It's good business. It's great business. What else? Um, Oh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. We also had a chat before we fucking started this. We have decided um, that we are going to do the finale of this season. Episode number 40 is a live show. Sorry. Hang on. Do we want to reveal this now? Yes. Or do we have a chat yes. about it first no. and reveal it next week? We're going to reveal it now and stay accountable. We're not going to um and R anymore. We're, it's happening. It's locked in. We're doing it. If it's shit, it's on us. We've got to fucking get organized and, and book that shit in. The um the world's longest podcast and maybe we just won't talk about that. Yeah, just skip that. Oh, no, no, we we need to reveal what happened. Okay. Stop, well, yeah, we, we need to dance okay. around All that. Right. So so Guinness World Record came back to us. They said that the record that we were requesting uh, doesn't meet their requirements as a world record. There was a similar record which was a. Uh, what was it? It was a live stream. A live stream. Um, which went over 60 hours, which was quite interesting, but it doesn't fit our narrative. We if can't we, be trusted live with sleep deprivation. Yeah. If we if we go live for 60 hours, we'll almost certainly say something that will come back to bite us in the ass. It'll cancel. So, um, yeah, we're, we're not going to have a crack at the fucking world record this year, but we are going to do the live show for episode number 40. All right. And um, it will be in Brisbane. So uh, just so we can get an idea of numbers when we're looking for a venue, if you would like to come, I think we're going to make the admission fuck all or free. I don't know yet, depending on the venue. Um, comment in the comments. I will come. I'm from Brisbane. <coughs> Shut up. Oh, and uh, we'll see how many people say yes and um, and that we'll go from there. But yeah, episode 40, we're going to aim to have a live fucking show. Which is like nine weeks away. So that's a, that's yeah. a big deal. Yep. No, big, look, big yep. look, we've taken it on now and that's that brown. If it's, look, worst case scenario, we have it here at the house. Oh, at the oak. Fuck. <laughs> you said you wanted to call it the oak. Yeah, well, it's the oak for now because we haven't changed it. So we have to call true. it something. 7.30. 
Brownery. Anyway, guys, um, I don't know if you know this, but we are actually running a comment competition, all right? We're picking on the season finale. We're going to pick one comment at random from the entire season, season number four, and that comment will win $1,000. So the more times you comment, you are literally multiplying your chances of winning every single time you comment. You're doubling your chances every time. There used to be a board. Until there's a mathematical certainty that you will win if you comment enough times. I should probably update that board. Yeah. Yeah, you do need to update that board. What board? The comment board. The comment board. Oh, yeah, the comment board, yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that later. But, um, yeah, so comment as much as you fucking can because you want money and we want to give it to you. So we're going to pick a comment at random. Could be yours. Sorry. Doesn't even have to be a good comment. Sorry. Moving yeah, on. Yeah, just say sorry. Ah! All right, we're going to do um, the sponsors. Now, we've there's been a few requests with the sponsors that Michael has a go at doing the sponsors. So Michael will be leading today's sponsor talks, everybody. And we have Nord. Nord is back. Nord VPN for for this episode. So, um, all right. Uh, Which one would you like to do, Manscape or Nord? Well, why don't we do Manscape first, and then I can show I can show him what Nord wants to say. Okay, so put it this way, you can be a boy or a girl or both, but you might smell bad, you might look bad. You get manscaped, you can shave your beard, you can shave your pubes, you can use their shampoo to make your hair smell better, you've got cologne, there's ball wipes, but those ball wipes can be used as breast wipes, so it's very equal, it's always equal rights with manscaped even though the name is says man it's not very equal there is it yeah but that's okay okay we'll ignore that but all you've got to use is our fully actual 20 code for 20 percent discount holy shit that's one in five dollars off yeah it's pretty much free one in five dollars scratched off if you use that you get free products from manscaped from us well not free technically yeah Yeah, okay let's no no let's say that let's say that Manscaped.com Use our discount code Fully actual 20 For free products 20% off 20% free Same thing Free products Only 20% off Free 20% Women's Manscaped For women Alright Fuck That's not too fucking bad And of course We um, Our other sponsor For this episode Is um, the great Nord VPN Michael And um, Here's what they Like Just made That there And then um, yeah, make people want to make people want to get Nord. You gotta VPN. sell it, Michael. You need to sell it. <laughs> fucking okay. sell it. Here we fucking go. This is why we fucking hate doing them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, their, but ig- ignore something. that. Yeah, yeah. Ignore that we hate doing them. Um, Nord, yeah. if you're listening, Nord, this we love this now. Nord, the if Nord you're listening, thing starts now. No, but Nord, we love listen. We love you guys. <laughs> Hope all is good, mate. Do you have air dates for two times? No. This <laughs> He's here. I thought it was fine. Oh. Okay. I thought you thought that that was part of what they wanted us to say. <laughs> okay. Cut that, Connor. Oh, no, I like it. Leave it, 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 it in. Leave it in. Get NordVPN. I want one. Now, <laughs> if you want something just a little bit extra on your computer. What is it? What is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Adds more layers of security, like a blanket, mm. like a condom for you. You want to go. like the blankets you had from. Fucking on your camping trip. That yeah. was a horrible Even place. Nord's so not it like offered, that. It did offer some protection though. So Nord is a blanket for your computer basically, or even a shield where it protects you when you go searching out in the wilderness of the internet lands. It's full security. You need it. So it's like having like a bouncer with you at all times. Maybe two. It's right. two bouncers. Right. You have my attention. Yeah. So the big man comes with you as you search the internet, protects you when we got two of those. Now, grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to www.forward slash NordVPN.com fully, forward slash fully actual. Fully actuals, yeah. The, well, you've got to add fully actuals. You have discount. to add yeah. fully actual. To get up to a huge discount. Link will be in the description as well. The Otherwise, link we don't For the paid. Nord will be in the description. If you Plus can't remember what Michael four said. four months for free. And yeah, the, what? Four months for free? Yeah. So four months is, that's a whole year free pretty much. If it's they the same use thing. our discount code. 
That's yep. crazy, man. Is so, it? Surely that must be all. There must be nothing else that they can do. Oh uh, no, they do more. Look, it's free for four months. Did I mention that? What? No, you didn't mention Which that. Which is a whole it's free year. Free for four months. A whole That's year, an free, entire pretty much. year, nearly of Nord. Yeah. <laughs> And it's completely risk-free. Nord's 30-day money. And how how look, is it risk-free? I don't know if you've ever heard this before. Money back guarantee. Do you know what that word means? Guarantee? That means it's guaranteed. It's a certainty. Is that means it's like a T. It's that's definitely, definitely going to happen. It's actually Garen in the T. Yeah. So like it's tea made of Garen. They send out tea that's Garen oh, flavored. Oh, is that why if my neighbors had you that? don't like it after 30 days, they'll send you tea that's Garen flavored. Guarantees. And and it's Matt had a good question. He said, "Oh, how's it risk free?" He said that. Well, look, that's the thing. You, Thirty days, to, and you get your money back if you don't. And like they it. send a bunch of tea. You get it's, what he's saying so, is you get your money back if you don't like it. And it's you. So it's if you don't like it, what they give you more back. They Matt, give you tea as well as your money back. I think the tea is more of a metaphor of the money. Oh, so it's not tea. Well, you can use same the money thing. To buy it's tea. like the four same month, thing. twelve month year. It's all the same shit. Women, men, it's all the same. Every, everything's the same now, Matt. Okay, so shop at NordVPN. <laughs> use our fully actual code to get huge discounts and a gift. Four the months for yeah, they send gifts. No, look, if you use our discount code, I heard about this. Do you know what the gift is? They send you a gift. No, it's a mystery gift. Oh. Can't. Yeah, it could be worth up to ten grand. I don't know. I'm just I'm just making stuff up now. But if it's a gift, you don't know. It's yeah, a second. That's the car. beauty of a gift. You someone, don't know. whatever they're giving you, someone could pay ten grand for it. So really, so shop there, and that's how that is there. And of course, the University of Michael, our subscription website, where we post weekly videos that are far too fucked for social media. And this website funds our entire lives, all right? We put our best work into the website because social media is no longer, no longer happy to have us because we're too foul. TikTok has banned us for life. Yeah, we have a, we have a permanent live stream ban on TikTok because we showed our butt once. So now that's really? fucked. Uh, all our avenues. Once, when did that happen? Yeah, we found like out two today. days ago. But now all our avenues in social media are slowly, slowly dying. So that's why we have the website. Well, no, so it's just we got to yeah, make well, different content for social they're media. Decaying. It's so it's the content that we don't like making as much. Yeah, well, I mean, like they take things away from us in social media. In our website, we would never be banned from going live. What's well, our website? They can't do that. Oh, is man. that what it is? It's yep. ours. Do you yeah, actually yeah. go live on the website? We will do. Yeah, we do on our Facebook live. group. Anyway. Um, <coughs> and it's also risk free because there's a 21 day free trial so I sign up in the links in the description and if you don't like it you can leave free of charge but I guarantee you you watch 10 of those videos you'll be a changed man you what's fucking the one freak. that's just flala clalade oh yeah the one that's come out right now would be oh the one we watched today how to make the world smell better this is good when shit. Michael and I we pretty much get like a hundred deodorant cans and we make a bomb like ten butane bottles we got like a thousand dollars worth of sparkler dust and crushed all oh the sparkles oh my god off it was so fucking good it was a great video and it was, and yeah. that's our right now and there is yeah like this we tried to make Could cow we put shit the, would we be allowed oh yeah and Michael's constantly just playing with shit the whole time oh, yeah. which would make it we would never be allowed to post that to social media if what Michael's happened? rubbing mm. shit all over his face cow shit it's sort of magic <laughs> mushrooms we're not going to explain there. it to you Matt because you should watch it you should watch it and or also this week we filmed our house tour of the oak which will yeah like probably oh, be yeah. out in like what four weeks well um yeah there was some real estate agent gentlemen that were here yeah. Who did the house tour? I don't even know. So yeah, we didn't let you know, but real estate was through here. Yeah. Like some agents, they went through your room. It seemed very professional. Sorry. Anyway, and that's fucking sponsors. Sorry. All right, moving right along. Should we have a cheeky bong break and then get into on this day in the black book returns and Michael's Bible and Marty's diary? Yes. Uh, should I get high? Mm. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Do <laughs> final? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's taking a like. 
Matt's taking a liking to that words. What was the one that you were doing the other day? <laughs> I didn't get uh, accents are so weird. Why can't you just say it exactly how I say it? Du Schweinehund. Du Schweinehund. Du Schweinehund. Well, you yeah, guys we have to practice the, it. Yeah, you guys have accents. Like, why just lose the accent? Just say it how I'm saying it. We didn't grow up in. Yeah, why does that matter? Totalitarianism. Like, you know what that, that You know what I mean? Why does that matter? You should just. Du Schweinehund. There, no, I did no, it. That was fully German. Can you do it again? I just want to try. Schweinehund. Schweinehund. Stop. Schweinehund. Are you saying Schweinehund? Schweinehund. Schweinehund. Anyway, on this day. Schweinehund. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Sorry. Sorry. On this day. Where is it? <clears throat> on this day, in a world far, far away, four children did play. The children laughed, sang, played and ran. But when I tried to join in, they said, no, you're a man. <laughs> Depression poured out into my heart. I needed to cheer myself up, so I let out a little fart. The children all chuckled and giggled a bit. <laughs> so I farted again, except this time it was shit. <laughs> the children turned and started to scream. And as I held out my shit, we all watched it steam. I watched them run away and I'd had enough. So I ripped off my shirt to show them I was tough. I slung my shitty hand as fast as I could and sent my shit flying through the neighborhood. It slapped on the kids and I laughed as they slipped. Maybe next time they'll include me and I won't let one rip. I may look like a creature, but I am Matt Brown. And if you're ever mean to me, I will take you down. <laughs> and I stand up. I stand up against animal abuse. <laughs> Stand with me, boys, because this subject means a lot to me. Let's end animal abuse today. Oh, well, if it means so much to you, Matt. Holy sh dude, you're like a poet. Wow, Matt, I didn't know you could do that. You wrote a song, basically. So you wanted to, like... You would wanted to play with some kids, but they would be like mean to you and didn't want to include you in their games. Is that some childhood? <laughs> that was that's a beautiful. They thought, like, they thought he was a man, but he was a child. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Where does that come from? <laughs> Deep. Oh. I'm sorry, everyone. I've got Marty's diary on the other phone and I can't see it because I can't. We're filming with it. So, um, so it's ruined. It's ruined. I've ruined Marty's diary and that's right. my, my mistake, everybody. I need water. Uh, Michael. Uh, water. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Michael, it's, you. It's, turn for your bi it's turn for your Bible. Michael's Bible is a book that he has written. He spilled all his wisdom down on some pages one day and he's got a Bible and while he's reading it, he's not Michael, he's not Jesus, he's Beezus. These are all movies that are all shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can already name them. Gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> Oh, you're fucking reading from my list. <laughs> Three Musketeers. The Three Musketeers is a classic. Bad Boys 1 and 2. <laughs> if nobody likes Bad Boys 1, eat a dick. The Mummy. Brendan Fraser at his best. Pirates of the Caribbean. The first one is good. <laughs> Transformers. That wasn't mine. It got in there somehow, though. Back to the Future. At a classic. Fight Dod me. Dodgeball. Good film. Dodger Ranch. Cunt. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. I, agree, I agree with that one but yes you picked it oh actually I mean to say no dude I didn't know they were part of your collection <laughs> <laughs> well you didn't even like Matt uh, has a list of he has like a billion DVDs I don't have a there. billion got a I've rack. got one tower with some DVDs most of them it's are mine 90s. but there are some it's very there are 90s. some that aren't mine they've just gotten in there well, from when a, I worked at the video shop Mike okay, has it a stack of DVDs like they used to in the 90s next to your TVs out there and there are some questionable movies in there and yeah, name one Shrek's okay Shrek's good yeah, Shrek is good <laughs> <laughs> really but like, like you should not have fucking like 
What was it? There, oh. was, there was one you read out. I was like, what, really? Dodgeball is shit. I watched oh, it the yeah, other night. It's so bad. Man, Transformers is not mine. I absolutely swear on mother that Transformers is not the mine. Three Musketeers. Like- Hang on. Three Musketeers is great. It's got Kiefer Sutherland and Charlie Sheen in the peaks of their careers. It's fucking good. D'Artagnan, one of your favorite names is in it. Gone in 60 seconds is- st- That's debatable. Yeah. Like you shouldn't. And Back to the Future overrated. I'm saying it. Anyway. <laughs> I think some of them are, but the first one's classic. All right. Well, yeah. Eat a dick. Sorry. Anyway, that's... Um, We're going to talk later. I did have sorry at the end of it. Uh, oh, sorry. I did. Sorry, I didn't listen. I was just enraged. Anyway. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's time for... Um, you missed so many other films that are in there that could have been mentioned. <laughs> yeah, but... Matt just loves talking about movies. No, I didn't know that that was your list. Sorry, dude. I thought that was... <laughs> that was just movies I actually think are really shit. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for the most um, devastating, destructive segment out of all podcasts in the entire world. It's time for Matt Brown's Black Book, where, where he has detailed every single sexual experience that he's ever had in graphic detail. Okay. Let me tell you, there is a colorful storyline going on at the moment, and it is fucked. So this is continued on from... Right, so recap. So Matt kills Hitler in hell and Sa- uh, Julian is Satan and uh, Julian and uh, Matt have sex. Um, so, sex. So so all of um, Matt's Satan powers go on to Julian. Julian so Julian is now is Satan. Satan um, and uh, Julian has agreed to send Matt back to Earth. That's where we're at. Does that make sense, everyone? Now, where is your diary? Where have you put it? I see it. And there was the Pinocchio accident. <sighs> oh, Pinocchio yeah. Pinocchio lost his well, life. Did you watch Pinocchio? The new one? <laughs> Dude, it was so good. <laughs> yeah, there's a new Pinocchio movie out. And it's like not the same watching it because we know what actually happened to him because it's in the black book. I haven't watched it yet. Anyway. anyway. And a baby whale got fucked. Okay, so that's where we're at, okay? Uh, uh. All right, here we go. You should try a whale sometime. Here we go. Have number 66. Uh. I feel Julian's thick lower lip pop out of my mouth. I come back for more and feverishly consume his tongue and let his saliva cascade down the back of my throat. We pull away and see that quite a large crowd had formed and was watching us make love for the last hour. Julian nodded and I knew it was time. We detangled our bodies and Julian took my hands in his. This isn't goodbye, Maddie. It's I'll see you later. There won't be a day that goes by that I don't think about you, my sweet Julian. As promised, I'm going to send you back to Earth now. That means you will be revived at the exact place you died. At the exact same time I died as well? No. One day in hell is like five minutes on Earth. So since you got to hell like four days ago, about 20 or 30 minutes have passed on Earth. So on Earth right now, it's only 20 minutes since I've died. Yeah, that's exactly right, cunt. Now get ready. Here we go. I gripped Julian's hands and felt his power coursing through my body. I'm scared, Julian. Will this hurt? I would never let anything hurt you, Maddie. Just relax. I immediately feel relaxed and we share one final kiss as I feel myself projecting upwards. I love you, Maddie. I love you, Julian. I burst through the ceiling and it feels as if I'm falling up. Everything is a blur and I'm traveling at light speed. I shoot through different dimensions and all the colors of the universe swirl around me. Then, with an almighty thud, my spirit explodes back into my deceased human body on Earth. I'm back to life. I take my first breath of air and open my eyes. I'm still lying on the floor in a pool of blood. I felt my head where the baseball bat wounds previously were and they had all completely healed. I was alive and fully healthy. I heard footsteps approached behind me and decided to play dead. I wanted the element of surprise to help me defeat Quire. I felt Quire grab my ankles as I continued to play dead. She started dragging my limp body towards the garage, giggling. My heart began beating harder. It was nearly time to attack. She stops at the garage door and drops my legs. She turns to open the door and I quickly and silently stand. 
Choir opens the garage door, still with her back facing me. I make a fist with my hand, except my thumb sticking up, erect and firm. Then I sling my left arm at her. The full length of my thumb stabs straight into her neck, and with my other hand I start punching in the back of her skull. Her arms claw back at me, and she struggles to pull my thumb out of her neck. Suddenly she kicks back like a donkey, and her heel drives into my testicles. The kick is so powerful it dislodges my thumb from her neck, and I stumble back. I feel my nut rupture, and blood begins to fill my creamy sack. She turns, with blood squirting from her neck wound. How is this possible? You're dead, Matt! She gasps as the confused old hag. I cradled my paws and tried to ignore the blinding pain. I fucked Satan, and now I'm in love with him, you bitch! I launch myself feet first at her knees. She screams as her knees snap backwards. She falls to the floor in a crumpled heap. Ah! Matthew! Son! Son! Please don't whack! I toe punt her snout, and her head snaps back. She's knocked out cold. You don't have to do this, Matt. I turn and see Queston standing in the hall hallway, holding his injured head. He had a bandage wrapped around his head, and he was leaning against the wall. He was incredibly weak from my previous attack. Good, Queston. I'm glad you're here to see this. I'm going to brutally fuck our mother and fill her insides with my silk. Once I've ripped up her clunge, then I'm finally going to have you again, while our mother's juices still freshly coat my cock. Question looks defeated, and I see him start to cry. <laughs> Pathetic. I look down at Choir. She's regained consciousness, and she's clutching at her fucked knees. Just try and enjoy this, Mum. She looks up at me through teary eyes and spreads her mangled legs for me. I get down on my knees and look back to make sure Queston is watching. He is. I grab Quiet's fucked looking head and we start kissing. Her nose sits directly in between her eyes and her mouth t- takes up 80% of her face. Despite her grotesque appearance, it felt nice to kiss a female again. It had been a while. I feel her body as she wraps her arms around me. I grope as I slowly slide my hands all over her. My hand finds her breast and our kissing intensifies. I grab both of her tits and with both of my hands and I squeeze them so hard that they go purple. I peek at Queston to make sure he's still watching. He is. My little brown has made its way out of my pants and has flattened itself like a threatened toad, ready for battle. Quiet rips her pants where her gash is. It's strange that I came from that hole and now we'll be coming in that hole. Quiet is eager for me to enter her and I can tell she's enjoying this. I stare deeply into my own mother's eyes as my fuck wand slides inside her. As soon as I'm in, we erupt into passion. Our mouths start kissing and tonguing at each other and my groping intensifies. I stretch both of her tits into my mouth and suck on them like I did when I was an infant. I drill harder and faster at her slit. Her snap knees clatter and flop about behind me as she holds up her split legs. I stare at Queston and I feel my eyes bulging out of my head. My eyeballs... My eyeballs kept stretching out of my head until I looked like a fucking snail. They stretched down the hallway and stared at Queston as I thumped away at our ecstatic mother. Oh, Matt! Yes! Ah, Keep fucking your mother! My eyes kept stretching out of my skull until they were centimetres away from Queston's face. Then, my eyes retract back into my skull as I start climaxing with my mother. Choir arches her back with pleasure and I keep pounding away as I drain my blood filled ball bag into her core. My mi- <laughs> my mints and blood combine to make a fuck chutney. <laughs> my ch- <laughs> my f- my chutney fills my mother and she squeals in ecstasy. I cock my head back and I let out a primal roar. <gasps> oh! Oh! We finish and I look at her now, quivering question. I unplug my little brown and my fuck chutney flows freely from my mother's cunt. I stand up and walk over to Queston. What, what do you think about that, mate? He, st- he says nothing and stares off vacantly. Look, I'm going to leave you for now. I want you to recover so that this is a fair fight. But I will be back. 
and I will have you so that there is no question that I, Matt Brown, am our family's number one heifer. I look back at Choir. She looks like a mangled mess, but her face is relaxed and satisfied. I've done my job. Fly la cly la lie la fly cly la lie la lie, I say as I take a shit on Crescent's bed. Then I leave. It felt good to be back on Earth. Now, time to go find more haves. Oh my god, so you let him repair himself. It wasn't going to be the proper way if he wasn't 100%. It's very noble of you, man. Oh, dude, when your eyes must have been stretched out a distance to centimeters away from Questions' eyes, <laughs> and then they retracted back. A snail. <laughs> like a snail. You look like a snail <laughs> as you fucked your mother. <laughs> That's when you climaxed. Oh my god, choir must. Oh, choir. Fucking wow, choir. Is that the first? Wow, yeah. Well, that's Sorry. the first time he's ever had his mum. Unbelievable. Thank you. Gobbies. Let's give each other gobbies. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, after this podcast, I reckon we should just like suck each other off. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking weird would that be if we started just, sucking each other just off? at the same time? So you go like. We'll go out in the lounge room and just like start. Su- yeah, like a circle suck. Imagine if this is the first episode <laughs> yeah. someone's watched. And this is the. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's time for Matt Br- Bachelor Brown. Mm. Bachelor Brown, Brown, Brown. Bachelor Brown, ah, he's behind you. Turn around quickly. There's not much time. He's strong and fast. It's Matt Brown. Bachelor Brown, ah. And this is a segment where Michael and I have taken it upon ourselves to find Matt a partner, a mate, someone he can share life with. Because quite frankly, Matt sucks at finding girls. He's single and alone and scared in this cold, massive house. And he has no <laughs> one to share life's many treasures with. And he's sick of it but he needs our help so michael and i've gone out fishing fishing for matt brown future wife and we found ourselves a little fish we've got five fish at the moment yeah five. we've got uh, matt's favorite fish on the board the top five. Oh, yeah how'd you did you talk to that other girl from last week she yeah nothing communicated did you add her i tried but uh nothing so it's no, it was no snapchat Fucking action no nothing why does that keep happening? It's very frustrating. Maybe, maybe she died. Maybe. Okay, so last week's was. Or a, I spelt it wrong. Was a I'm failure. Not sure which one. Okay, so last week's was. She a seemed failure. keen though. Yeah, fucking off. Uh, I, it's got to. Do be. you do it as soon as the podcast is over? I did it that night. Yeah. Send yeah. like ten messages. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, I'll just give. I'll just give her your number. No. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna that. have to. I don't want that at all. Anyway. So the new bachelorette for this for the tonight's date is her name is Ali. Okay? And her Twitch name is Extra N A C L Y. Extra Naklai. Yeah. Extra Naklai. She sounds like something so we would Twitcher, say. Which is gaming which Matt loves. She's a Twitcher? Wait, so so um that sounds like something we would say. Extra Naklai? I know. It's beautiful. I'll ask her. Can anyway. I have a look at her Twitch. Mm, oh, you got to hear a voice first. This uh, is a why don't you have a conversation date? with her first, Matt Brown, and see if there's a nation. Has she got Instagram? Everything. God, she's Matt weird. Brown, you're jumping ahead of yourself. You go straight to looks, and that's why we've I come do in. Not. That's why we've come in. You need our help. Anyway, Bachelor Brown. Here Brown, we go. Brown, Brown. Time for your date. Don't get nervous. Don't fuck this up. Oh, you know the drill. Nervous. Don't yeah, fuck get nervous, yeah. Matt. Yeah, well, now she said she's a Twitch person. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Oh, okay. Don't be nervous. Does she what? Hello? Well, well, well. Do I have here Ali? Yes, you do. Ali, Am you... I finally getting a chance to talk to Mr. Matt Brown? Ali, this oh, is your chance. You're on the Marty Michael Fully Actual Podcast, which is, I think, the biggest podcast in the world. And sitting right next to me, he's so nervous. He's been, he's been clapping his hands together like that really fast and making excited. It sounds like... <laughs> like that because he is so excited to talk to you and he cannot wait to show you what he's all about he's oh, got nits he thinks Matt, take it away Matt and be, remember what we spoke about 
You got this. Say something, fucking say something, Matt. Hello, Ali. God. Hi, Matt. Oh, that's oh, that's pretty good. That's a flirtatious, huh? Tell me about yourself. Ali. Oh. oh. Well, um, my name's Ali. Uh, I'm 29, and I currently work as a robotics engineer. Holy fuck. How about, how about you? Tell me about yourself. Matt Matt, yours is going to sound way shitter compared to that. But go Yeah, on. mine's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> mine's horrible. <laughs> His about me is terrible. <laughs> Matt, Matt gets dressed Matt's 40 and he gets dressed up with his mates I'm not 40 I'm 35 he fucking puts wigs on with his mates and we play fucking silly buggers and toss each other off after the fucking podcast <laughs> Ali why don't you tell us a little bit so you're a twitcher is that right what do you do on twitch Oh yeah, that's I like to do that in my spare time. I, I like to play games online, like talk with people. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to talk with Matt Brown, but if he wants to talk to me, that's that's his. Where, where are you from? Um, I'm from Newmarket. Oh! Dude, dude. Wait, he's gonna say something profound now. <laughs> Have we ever met before? I wish. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so on edge that I'm getting <laughs> fucked around, and I like <laughs> ask her what she likes to do. What do you like to do? Oi, your, oi, Ali, your, your Twitch name? What is it? It's ec, um, extra Nakley. Yeah, extra Nakley, but oh, like extra it, uh, with ex a capital N and a C to make it like because N A C L is salt. Oh, so, uh, she's using her brain. All right. Um, oh, mm -hmm. sorry to interrupt there. I just needed Pretty to Pretty good at giving brain too. Ooh, all right, go, Matt. Say something. Float with her a bit. Say something. Um, tell her Tell her that you have huge biceps. Um, <laughs> no, I can't say no, no, that. Like, tense for her. Yeah, yeah, tense for her, but don't talk. Ali, what made <laughs> you come on here? Do you watch the podcast? Yeah, of course. So you've been watching Matt for a while, Ali? Yeah, and I've been seeing you talk to other girls and I'm not really happy about that. Yeah, Ali, have you seen what, have you, do you see what happens? Sometimes we get bachelor, um, bachelorettes on and then they, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, lovely to talk to you, Matt. And then they, they don't follow up and communicate after the podcast is over. Are you, do we have your word that you will at least speak to Matt Brown after this podcast and see if there's a spark there? Yeah, of course. Yes. How, and how would you like to communicate with him via Instagram? I can I can give out his phone number to you. I already have his Instagram. <laughs> oh, so you already follow him? All right. Well, maybe just message him on Instagram. Have we spoken on Instagram before? No. Okay. Not but yet. What games do you play on Twitch? Um, I like to play FPS games. What's so that? First person shooter. Like shooter games? Yeah. First person shooter. Battlefield. Matt loves that. Matt loves Fortnite and he's very good at it. Are you a cat or a dog person? Both. Both. Okay. I reckon you're falling for it, aren't you, oh, Matt? Yeah, I feel like there's some um, sexual chemistry you shoot, love her, shooting you? up your back and affecting the base of your skull. <laughs> Ali, what's your ideal first date? This. Besides mm, this. Because this is like hard. Probably like a like a Sunday walk, but like kind of around like brunch time, and then the walk like ends at kind of midday, and then we can have some like craft beers. I'm really into craft beers. Oh, Matt loves a Sunday walk. That Sunday is so walk. weird that you said that, Ali, because Matt loves his Sunday walks. You know, Matt Brown, he always goes on Sunday walks. Every single Sunday, there he is, rain, hail, or shine. Sometimes he's running backwards. <laughs> Holy shit. And she lives in New Farm. You go on Sunday New market in New Farm. New Market. But you pick her up from New Market and go to New Farm. Do we have a deal this Sunday? Why would we go to New Farm? Ali, do you have plans this, this Sunday? Yeah, I do. Uh, okay. Well, um, we'll let you guys handle it. I reckon if it's you fair could to go say to, you're in love, Matt. If you right? could go to dinner anywhere in Brisbane with Matt Brown, where would you go with him? Oh, I don't. I'm I'm not a big restaurant connoisseur. I don't really know. That's, neither is I don't Matt. Go out to eat, neither is but. Matt. Yeah, either am I. 
Well, look, we well, can. I guess we can. We can learn together. Well, or you guys can just chill here, and Michael and I will happily get some DoorDash food for you guys, <laughs> and you guys can <laughs> just be a great first. Uh, and you guys, game. <laughs> they can game. can game together. We're actually going to start our Twitch up again one day too, Ali. What are you going to play on yours? Probably Worms Armageddon. Oh, I'll, I'll probably play Fortnite. <laughs> and Matt loves his Fortnite. He's very He's good. Very at it. good. Yeah, well, Matt. What's your favorite material in Fortnite? My favorite material. Yeah. What building material? Oh, he's yeah. that was quite rude by Matt. I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> <laughs> For someone you're falling in love with, you shouldn't say that. Oh, it's got to be wood. Oh, oh okay. So <laughs> cool. Are you being flirty? Yeah, it was pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> it would be concrete, but there's not really concrete. It's more rock, and it's and not wholesome concrete. That's why it's shit. Exactly. It's Hanson. Hanson can get fucked with their <laughs> dumb shit dirt. <laughs> 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 Hanson concrete's just a bag of shit. I won't lie, um, Ali. I actually thought you might be somebody I know. I you love her. You love her, don't you? I wish I was someone you knew. Oh What's your God. Instagram so Matt can um, but yeah, she's stalk too, the shit she's out of you and stare all your pictures for hours and hours? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> What's your Instagram? Do you know, do, Ali, do you know I used to live in Windsor? <laughs> oh, 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 really? Matt's yeah. getting deep now. For two years, I was getting in personal. Windsor. And Very how did close. you feel? I'd, I'd ask you whereabouts, but I don't want to put that on the podcast. So I don't want to. <laughs> I lived at 50. <laughs> yeah, you can well, say I now. I don't live there anymore. <laughs> yeah, tell everyone. Yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, all right, Ali. Well, thank you very much for your time. What's your Instagram? Do you mind us saying it on the podcast? It's, it's the same. As, oh, it's kind of embarrassing. I got to delete the old pictures. But oh, you don't have to read. <laughs> we, we can bleep it if you want your Instagram. No, I mean no, it's okay. It's the same as it's my Twitch. Okay, so it's the extra naturally. Extra Knackley. Yeah. All right. All right. So, Matt, expect a DM from Extra Knackley and you will reply tonight. Yes, Matt? Um, I will follow you if you're oh, already following me. Yeah. Do you want a virtual kiss with her? All right. So, it, it seems oh, like the day went that. quite well. You so, do that. My, Ali, you, Ali, Matt loves to do this thing oh. where he really gets a vibe from someone when you do like a virtual kiss. Just a peck, nothing with tongue. Matt. <laughs> So, oh. so on the count of three, can you just oh, pop? Do really you consent with, with it? You consent oh. with. <laughs> So you can send to in three seconds time a peck on the lips. Here we go. Three, <sighs> two, okay. one, peck. Mwah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you guys kissed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I reckon it's, you're definitely uh, look, in a relationship. I, I, uh, are you are going to have to up your game here? Matt, yeah. Oh. Don't, okay. All right. I won't lie. You better put me on top. Yeah, I, I won't lie, top. Ali. You do have. All right, let's get the board out. Hang on, hang on. I didn't say we're No, 100% she's on the top five. You know she is. Like, oh, stop kidding yourself. Show me the five. Who are we rubbing out? Greg or Nah, Greg's too sweet. Ethan. What about Ethan? He's just one hasn't Fuck. Ethan just won a bloody thing from us? Yeah. What I'm about not... Jess? Nah, Jess is very good. Jasmine? Um, it's gonna have to be Ethan. Fuck, I'm so sorry. Ethan, Ethan. we love you, dude. You're a fucking sub we you've been number one supporter for a long time. We How, love how's you. he getting his gift? I don't know. The, I guess they'll find out his address and we'll send it to him. Is it Ellie? He lives in Brizzy. I'll just go drop it to him. Yeah, all that. Anyway, Ali, thank you so much for your time. Oh, Ali, Ali, how do we, how do we spell your name? Is it A or is it E? Yeah, Ali, like A, so A L L I E. Okay, done. <laughs> That's very excited. I can see him licking his lips like a Cheshire kitten. Oh, I'm wow. gonna be very sad if I'm not on top. I'm just saying that. I well, I might take like an hour to reply to you if I'm not on top. Well, she, well you are top five now, and Matt's very rare that Matt kicks someone off. So this is especially at this is very big. first date. This is big news, Ali. <laughs> We're excited to see how it goes. Thank you for your time. We'll chat to you soon. All right. Bye. Bye. See ya. Say bye, Matt. Bye, Matt. Bye, Ali. Oh! Oh, he put her there, oh, Krypton. Yeah, put her there, Krypton oh, stiff. Oh, Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> it's good. Dude, where did you, you find found her? the one? We found where the one. Where did you find her? I have my ways. I am I'm oh, Willy Wonka. Maybe. I'm on. I feel, I'm distrusting no, no, this whole yeah, thing. No, he's, he doesn't think it's a real person. Or no, something. I think it's a real person, but I think it's somebody I know. A promise. A promise? A promise. Uh, there's nothing behind this. 
Don't, he's Matt's worried that we're pranking him and there's a stitch up or something. He's very untrusting of us, and that's fair enough. We have hurt you. I hope Ali's real. Well, dude, you've like she gaming. You real. love gaming. Sunday walks. Nice. You love Sunday walks. She's oh shit! You know what alive? I forgot to do? Light a locky. Yeah. No. Put um, your phone on private. <laughs> Anyway, that was Bachelor Brand. Now we move on to Fly La Cly La 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 Fly La La La, which is where we lie to Lockie. We lie to him every week. We get him every fucking week. He's on to us though. And it's a Thursday night. It's prime podcast time. So I've got Jackson lined up. Jackson's just come out of surgery. And like he's, he's, it's very hard for him to do things on his own. So we need someone there. So it's perfect. We're just going to slip in a nice, easy lie. Jackson's just going to say, oh, my stitches have come undone. You need to take me to the hospital in the morning or something. And then as soon as I goes, yeah, okay, that's sweet. Then we jump in and flilly clay la la We should have gone more dark like my my other backs. Broke. No, I feel like he's on, if it's slightly shocking, yeah, he's triggered true. Now. I agree with that. All right. Um, all right. So for lying to Lockie, uh, like I said, we got Jackson teed up. He can't call right now, but he's going to call me as soon as he can, and then we'll get that un- underway, all right? So we're going to move right on to fucking comment of the fucking week. Moo, can't fucking moo, right? <laughs> this is where Matt picks out his favorite comment from last week's episode, and we put it on a board, the comment of the week board, and if you make the board, you are in the running to win another $1,000 at the end of the season cannot stress that enough another thousand dollars separate to the other thousand dollars thousands so the more you comment i don't need to keep saying it just fucking write some comments what do we got this week brown town uh comment of the week went to bobby jim bobby jim sorry sorry and bobby jim said the sexual tension between matt brown and the milking stool leg was unbearable apart from that good episode how is that shit going? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that you're oh. sitting on a milking stool, which is I feel like one I've, leg. I feel like I've got to hold myself up a lot and that's making me my body work and I feel like I'm sweating because of that. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect all I ever it's wanted. It's a lot of work. <laughs> but like, no, don't you think it's like good for exercise, sort of? Yeah, it's good, but it's know. also... It's hard for it's Matt to core. sit now. It's, yeah, it's, but it's not good to, to, for sitting up straight. I've got to sitting be- down is now a workout. Yeah, and um, that's great from us. That's great work, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> I'll keep it though. Okay, and I'll put it out in the living room. Throw it through one of the windows. <laughs> 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 <It's not> <laughs> <laughs> Matt Brown had sex with his. Oh mother. wait, if we're doing questions, we got to have a bong break. Oh, oh, this is so fair. Right, well, we just did uh, comment of the week, so let's go have a bong break. Now. Hopefully, Jackson doesn't call during our bong break. Oh, they anyway. called last week. Here he is. Look at him. Oh, my <laughs> God. What the? What are the chances, cunt? We're about to have fucking bong break. All right, here we go. Ja- Jackson. Hello. Oh, there you are. You scared us, my flunk. No, I've got I've got a setting on my phone. It blocks private numbers so they can't call me. Oh, I didn't think you Oh, were- that's so smart. Hey, do I have to call you for this to work or can you still merge a call even though you were the one who called me? Uh, <clears throat> are you on the podcast right now? Yeah, yeah man. You're, yeah, you're on the podcast right, right now, by the way. It's good to hear your voice, Jackson. Oh, j- why don't you Fly talk well, Jackson's just had like his two discs removed. Everyone, by the way, three dickheads. Yeah, three, <laughs> three removed. Did you not and watch they the put story? Steel rods in in their place. Titanium, titanium, dickhead. titanium stools. Oh. <laughs> I love his correct me on everything. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you want me to call Lockie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. And I reckon just I'm say. On the phone. What? And um, I reckon just say to him, oh, can you can you drive me to the doctors tomorrow? They need to have a look at my stitches or something. Real simple. Yeah, no worries. I'll give him a call now. Should I merge it? Yes, please, dude. Yes, please. You're the best, Jackson. Right. Thank you, Jackson. Come, come, oh shut God. up. Coming up. Sorry. Fuck. Fuck. He's on answer. I wonder what he's doing right now. <laughs> Good. All right, dude. We'll chat to you soon. Sorry. 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 I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. I'm sorry too. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll put my I'm sorry. hand up. I'll put my hand up. It was me. I'll sorry. stand up. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry about I'm sorry. that. Sorry. Fuck. 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 I'm so, sorry. so fucking sorry, man. I apologize. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm so, fucking sorry. Sorry. sorry about that, dude. What the hell? Whack. I'm sorry. 
so out of character. So, so out of character from me. I'm so This sorry. isn't us. Whack. I'm so sorry. Whack. Anyway. I've been having anxiety attacks. Yeah, sorry. See ya. <laughs> that was a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's sorry. time for a... Break. We'll be right back with uh, Q&A and the Lying to Loggy sing. Pum pum pint. Pum pum pint. Pum pum tin tin. Oh, he's calling. You ready? He's calling. Matt, he's calling. He's calling. Hang on. He's not. We're back. Lied to you. Can't suck shit. All right. On to the fucking questions. Dog shit. Let's. F- oh, that is good. That's a new thing we should start up. What? Where you just do the first two letters of the word. So instead of the, it's. Well, the, like. It's. Oh, it's, it's too hard. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's too hard. Nah, sorry about that. I think there's something We're still going to do the screaming segment, I realize. I, th- I think there is something there. Sorry about that. Something we can work on. <coughs> <coughs> Remember someone DM'd us and said, hey, call this number? Is it like a massage place? You should call them and scream. Well, that relates to the top <laughs> question. We should do another screaming segment. Yeah, we will after this segment. We'll do another <laughs> screaming. <laughs> okay, here we go. Question time. Fuck, I'm so uh, fly. Top question went to Zach Jeanette. Jeanette, depending where he's from. Um, question for the podcast. Will you ever bring back fan prank calls? They're some of my favorites from season two. Maybe just a few here and there if they're good. We've talked about that We're trying one podcast. today. Yeah, we're going to try one. But the reason fan... Um, prank calls are hard is because I have to call off a private number because obviously I don't want heaps of people having my number and people don't answer calls from private numbers so we're left fucking like calling no one picks up calling no one picks up and then we go through like 10 different fan prank calls and we've just been calling people and no one picks up so that's why we moved to only calling businesses because they're always open and they will fucking answer the phone but yes this week we will try a fan experiment but uh, fan prank call, but don't get your fucking hopes up, Matt, you fucking blonde looking dog shit. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Next question is from. from f- oh, fucking fuck hell. No. Fondue. Fun I'm so oh, sorry. sorry. I've really fucked, fucked that, that name, name up. up. <laughs> um, um, when was the last, last time Michael had, had short hair and, and can he show a photo? photo? Oh, it's on like Instagram, I'd say. I think When's the last time he had long hair though? I reckon like, I had short hair back in like in your early 20s. Like Nam. 22. 20. So what's that? Like 15 years ago now? No. Oh wait. 10 years ago. So there you go. <laughs> 10 years ago I had short yeah, hair. Yeah. When I met you, you were short <laughs> hair. It was, like, it was like this. <laughs> yeah. If you've believe- never ever grown your hair out, try it once. Oh, unless you can't, your hair looks, it just like doesn't mine. grow long. Because that's what happened to me. Right, my I would love just, it if you just grew your hair out nah, for like. Actually, if I, I, honestly, straight. I would look so fucked if I, I had long hair. Man. I took a photo of Marty. <laughs> would be so Dude, fucked. I would love it. <laughs> I took a photo of Marty uh, in it from your mother's apartment. There was a photo of Marty, young Marty, and your hair was long, but it was like short. Yeah, and it doesn't grow past yeah, there. It looks strange. It doesn't grow. Could we? How much would it cost a month to let you just keep growing your hair? Oh, see, mine's. Yeah, but how much would you? How much? How much? Everyone's got a price. Oh, it's pretty embarrassing. Then again, if Bachelor Brown just wear out, hats and shit, how long do I have to do it? For as long as you want, you keep getting paid. Each month, I get a paycheck. Yeah. yeah. Five thousand dollars. Oh, month. you oh, fuck! That is so fuck. Me- so you'd smoke you said name and price. You'd, say, you'd smoke meth five times over before growing. Yeah. Your hair. I reckon a hundred bucks a month. Fuck off. 
hundred bucks a month. I'll, I'll drop go, it down to four thousand. I'll go a grand. Oh, dude. I'd go a grand a month to see yeah. him grow his hair out. <laughs> oh, by next year, like it'd be real rough. Yeah, yeah could we? <laughs> a grand a month, you get extra. I if just you... want to get laid, though. And that, dude, that's you, I reckon laid. it'd be beautiful. Wear hats and shit, man. I'd love for you to be on the podcast with this. I will fucking shit. look. I will look like Question. <laughs> dude, I look exactly other, like Question. That's the other, other, you have to be on the podcast with no hats or wigs on. <laughs> we'll give uh, you a grand a month if you do that. Oh, can I think about it for a week? Yeah. Well, right. make sure, right. um, yeah, remind we'll Matt to next week. bring that, make sure you bring that back up. Please take this opportunity to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, a third of you haven't subscribed. Please subscribe. I see you analytics. Just press, press the red button. Yes. And a five star review on Spotify. Please, please. That Sorry, makes Matt. sense. Go on. Next question is from Stephen Hunt. Um, does Matt Brown have a hinge account? If so, <laughs> what does his matches think of him? And what is your opening line? I don't have a hinge account. The most I've gone is Tinder because I just hate online dating. It's oh, so come on. Dating. It's fu- It has its uses, cunt. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't, there's hinge. There's so there's many new so ones many. now. H- I haven't been single f- since fucking, for fucking no. ages. I, so I downloaded hinge because it was uh, uh, advised that I do. And it was just so much. You, you, there's so there's too much. What do you mean? There's got to have an opening line. You have to have a bio. You have to leave a voice message. It's just too much. <laughs> what oh, did we say before? So like, cringe. The oh, cement dude, line? That would be perfect for some fucking hardcore trolling. It? Yeah, oh, I'm happy to do that Imagine for you. your opening line is just screaming. La, 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 la. Oh my God. I've just Call thought me. of a fucking segment. Next season or this season, we'll do like chats with Brown. On and hinge. like, we'll literally have like all the conversations that you've had with girls. Oh, I don't know. We'll have to work it out. And I'll do some details. as well. Yeah, and you, Marty you will help. It. Oh man, yeah, yeah, that's that's got right. potential for next so season. Like Matt Brown and online dating apps. Yeah, Matt so Brown like is Matt online. Brown's um, Brown date. It depends, though. Oh, yeah. It depends. <laughs> I'll just call it Brown dates. I'll have to check in with either, <laughs> you know, <laughs> with the cops. Brown to, dates like the fruit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I could be dating Ali, so. <laughs> I could be Brown I could be dates. in love with Ali and you're excited about Ali that's and for who sure. knows or Isla or um or Jess from the UK Greg I want to have a look at her but no now can we do the, no, say, don't don't yeah, go, people, go on with your questions no because then people are just going to watch you sorry Ooh. anyway sorry the the dating app thing yeah not I don't know I don't enjoy it I'm really bad at replying um yeah, it's not a fun day. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I found her, Matt. You're going to be so happy. Can you just not? <laughs> that is so up your alley. Show him a picture. What do you mean it's up my alley? What does that mean? <laughs> Show Matt a picture. The girl with Matt just had a phone date with. What's her name? Ali? Ali. No. Where did she go? Let's try Matt. Can we do this later? No, we found you've. This is the you one. You can look man. from a distance. Look, watch his. Get his face there. Come yeah, on, look at that. My eyes aren't good enough. Get his face there. Look. Oh, look at that lust. I'm his pupils are so dilated. Oh yeah, look, he's touching the screen. Oh, drink that in, man. Slurp. Make the slurp <laughs> sound. Drool. Drool over your bottom lips. Um. Oh. Next question is from Decoder. Um, Dakota always comes up with good questions and always comments. Thank sorry. you, Dakota. So, <laughs> can we can oh, sorry? Can we confirm that all the Bachelor Browns are still alive? And will Matt has not had any of them out of pure rage? Oh yeah, that's actually a good point. Maybe that's why the segment's not going so well. Have you been murdering and hunting these women? I don't think so. Unless I black out. All right, so I don't think so. But yeah, it's a great point. Yeah, the brown is back to like... He's, it's something to keep in mind. He's on the brown and narrow. Well, you know, he's... <laughs> <laughs> he's a reformed brown, but... The brown he, and narrow. He has that evil within him. It could erupt at any moment. <sighs> Next question is from Donut Films. Like a brown volcano. Like a brown volcano. Spewing brown lava. Spewing. Um, Brown-ma. Do you guys watch scary movies? 
Yeah, I love scary horror movies. Donut Films wants to know what's your favorite scary movie, horror movie. The latest one, the one that I've watched, it's the creepiest in a long time. Really? Was Midsummer. It's not that scary though. It's just a real creepy. Yeah, I like oh. that. That fucks me more. Yeah, that than fucks the, me more too. The just I ha- jump. See, you can say jump scares are scary, but they're not. No, I like like they're true. Cheap. The best ones are like true story based on true events, like mm. the Amityville Horror or what's that one? Um, Invisible Man. No, the the uh. where the the psychic bitch. There's heaps of them. Drag me to hell was pretty fucked up. What about the couple that's that goes and gets ghosts? The psychic woman. Paranormal and, activity. No, the fucking. There's like three of them. Oh, the the J- Jane and Jingle. Um, the um, come uh, on, John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> um, fear and loathing. Yeah, you're getting close. Uh, don't scream at night. The scream. Simpsons movie. <laughs> um, Jane and Ed Warren. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Help us! Um, <laughs> I know what it is, yeah, but I'm not going to say it. The Emmanuel Horror. That's not it. But they are. They. <laughs> but they are involved with that. They are involved with that. <laughs> conjuring. Yeah, conjuring. yeah, yeah. The Conjuring. <laughs> the Conjuring series is good. Yeah. I hurt my leg trying to stay stable. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Ben Hickenlopper. Oh, Hickenlopper. It's also yeah. a German word. Means love. Sorry. Um, I don't know if you guys if you guys even know. What are your golf handicaps if golf any good in Australia? Uh, I'm not I'm not on that level yet. <laughs> no, I'm talk about definitely handicaps. not on that level. And yeah. Even I'm I I can be unpredictable. I'm not that good. But what even is a handicap? I handicap's never got like that. Yeah, can you so explain that? Say if you get even par out of all the holes. What do you mean? But it changes so all the we time. Don't know what that yeah, means. so like I think even par is like and man, I'll so get this wrong. But it's like say all your pars add up to like seventy on a golf course. Oh right, 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 right. And then if you go over that seventy, then like if you're that's 70, your if you're seventy one, your handicap is one. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I reckon I would be if I was to play eighteen holes at a normal golf course, I reckon it'd be like nine over. That's oh, so your handicap is about nine. I'm going to say that, but I'm probably like double that. <laughs> I, I reckon I'd be, yeah, I'd probably be like a 20. Just count the yeah, holes. No, I reckon I'd be 10. I'll say I'm 10. Okay. I'd All be right. 20, you reckon? We just decide, I think there's a process to deciding this. No, no, no. It. This is it now. This is it. I reckon you are a fucking 50. Uh, no, no baby. 28. 30. <laughs> okay. I'll agree with that. <laughs> that handicap is 30. <laughs> no, I reckon... Yeah, well, yeah, no. Nah, so does better. that mean? Does that it mean Matt be. gets to start six, six, thirty shots ahead next yeah. time? <laughs> but that's like if we do use the like, I guess. It'd yeah, be we fair. do. Next we question do. is from oh, Sayama gold. Shoku. I oh, nailed that one. I don't think I did. No. So, um, why does Michael always keep yelling, "Oh my god, oh my fucking god!" Every time he got hurt, why does he have to fuck God? P.S. I'm not a fan of Jesus. A huge fan of Jesus. I don't know. It's like you always sort do, of yeah. a oh phrase God. Oh or a God. curse word that you use. It's probably there's better things to you say. You change it up though. You say she, something's wrong. Something my wrong. grandma would be, de- yeah, not very happy using the uh, Lord's Lord's name, name in vain. vain there. Yeah, she so, would not be yeah, happy. Think about, about something that. else, maybe. So yeah, I might change it to. Gosh darn it! You don't really think though in that moment when you're there's blinding pain oh. coursing through your body. You just there's no decision making. You don't think, oh, I'm not, I'm going to say this now. Just words just come out of your mouth, and you have no control. What do you say when flala klilish nile? Matt screams. He just makes loud sound. Oh, ah! Matt. W- oh yeah, that was good. Or you say fuck. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm pissed. <laughs> Matt said fuck when he thought we'd been robbed, but Julian and pranked us. I love you guys. Both the TVs fun. are gone. Fuck. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to see the video. <laughs> well, listen, you guys are like, oh, we've been robbed. I was ready. Oh, I was ready to I fucking rumble. Processing. Yeah, I'm still crazy. thinking about bashing Julian just, just for the, <laughs> yeah. the, two, the two minutes of pain he caused me. Well, that's you trying to get closer to him. We think. Yeah, we know what the true story is now, <laughs> cunt. <laughs> you love Julian and he loves you. And you guys have had wild sex down in hell. And your whole life has been a journey to get back with him. 
That was perfect timing, actually. <laughs> yeah, that was very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Look at that fucking cunt. That's heavy He's as, all sweaty. Was, I wonder how much we'd have to pay to make that his real hair. Yeah. Imagine we, getting that wig we, sewn to him. Could we give you like a grand to sew that on? <laughs> <laughs> How much would it take no, to us to, to surgically apply that hair to you? No, you have to be like 10 grand. Yeah. Oh, what about, month. dude? <laughs> oh, <I'm mine. laughs> Wait, can we do it for 4K? You can't. No, you're not going to sew one, this one to my head. Grand. We'll pay for the procedure. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm 10 grand for one month. I'd do that. All right. If you both get tits on your back. No, come on. Well, if you. It's just hair. Sacrifices. <laughs> it would work like you flele clele yeah it would work <laughs> she came in on a Monday morning and had that <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah oh, I, I imagine what they'd say when I walked through the door oh by the way people how was everyone's weekend <laughs> yeah by the way people listening on Spotify mate he's wearing a Blonde, like think of like a you know Super Saiyan yeah, from like, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Like that's what his hair looks no, like. No, it's like a weird wispy sandy. Yeah, hair. but then it's like there's a bit of like fuck you in there as well. It's like a yellow in my hair. I, I'm pretty point break. Let's just say. That. Cool. Oh wow. Next question is from Blue Bo Crush. Williams. He did ask about Shami and Jaden and doing videos with him. Yes, the boys will probably do another video with them in the future. Um. But he also asks, Michael, <laughs> what do you think of the movie Interstellar? Oh, it's fucking... I love that movie. Good film. I've seen it like three times. But you fucking hate Star Wars. You can't. Dude, yeah, that's Star Wars like is Star Wars. Pieces oh. of Star Wars is a, is a, is a war oh, in space. Dude. That what? is so shit, dude. And yeah, those movies I said before were shit too. And that's your movie collection. That's so you shit. can't back anything. I can back everything. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Interstellar is way better than Star Wars. Oh, I man. will say that. It's real. It's real life, bro. That yeah. actually happened. They bro. filmed it back bro. then. Like millions and millions of years ago, they filmed that. Next question is from uh, Men... Oh, sorry. Men Manuel Solmer. And God, that's fuck. Hard, I need man. some training. Yeah, you need voice. Um, Would you what try you recording well, ads man? for companies that don't sponsor you and then bill them to see if they would react? Yeah, this gave me a segment idea. Imagine if I, we just started doing that, like we or like I'll read out like oh what if we, yeah we do a oh go a, to Kmart Kmart's awesome yeah and then I'll send an invoice to them and I'll be like hey <laughs> we did we promoted that. you and then they'll be like oh like we didn't sorry. want that sorry and they'll be like oh what you're not gonna pay me now for the work I've done and then just like, have an interaction with them <laughs> oh if we but get, I don't know if that's illegal though because imagine if they just paid if one of them just paid yeah we could get in, in trouble is that but, like us trying to scam people oh, out yeah, of money that's like fraud or something but it would be funny to do a, some just give them a fake ads, bank account that some, doesn't lead to anything or we can segments. just oh yeah that's true and so it just bounces or back or bill them yeah. for zero dollars but then we don't know if yeah true pay. it's all flele clele sorry <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, sorry. Uh, question for the podcast from David Clark would you guys consider doing the orange toss again but this time make it more interesting trying uh, by trying Marty and Michael together or tying Marty and Michael together so they can't run the orange what the orange toss is that where we have oranges thrown at our bodies yes yeah yep we'll do that again it would oh man man Oranges are no joke, eh? So they compress a bit. Apples just explode as soon as they touch you. Oranges leave nasty, nasty bruises. You Man, I had fucking a- weak pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had an apple hit me in the like eye the <laughs> like you, but not as like direct. That was back in the fire. What fire? Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. When my eye flew. Tundlur. Remember that to get that little machine that poked my eye? Oh. When I got hit, years ago, I got hit in the eye with an Apple film and a video, like direct hit from James, oh, the yeah. hardest throwing friend of ours that we have. We've all got pretty good arms on us. And it was a direct hit on my eye. And I went to the hospital because I couldn't, it was excruciating to look left and right and up and down. I'd look straight ahead. Oh. And then they got this little machine 
that they to test the pressure of my eye. They wanted to see if I was like bleeding in behind my eye. They just it just touches your eyeball really fast, and you just have to keep your eye open. This little fucking machine is just tapping on your eyeball. Oh my god! I don't remember you. It sounds horrible, but it's it's really fast, and you barely feel it though. I will say that. Oh man. Anyway, if you get hit with an apple, it has a chance of disintegrating and orange is like... More Remember my compact. face was numb in parts for months? Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd touch damage. like here and I'd feel it... You had a stroke. Uh, like, man, weird. <laughs> stroke <laughs> oh face. God. Yeah, stroke face, yep. That apple hit gave you a stroke. What do you suggest is your best hangover cure? Shitloads of water and a... F- f- and a fucking hot, hot boiling hot water. Oh man, skull it! Like some, I guess, yeah, body food like pizza. The thing I found most effective during our drinking days was to skull as much water as you can before you go to bed. Yeah. I can't do that because I just pissed, guaranteed. Yeah, well, you're gonna piss anyway, so you may as well skull. No, there's there's time if there's a, there's potential if you don't have too much. Yeah. But if I skull water, that's guaranteed. Yeah, it's over for you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess you're just hydrating your body, right? Yeah, I put my just, hand well, that's what once. hangover is mostly. It's dehydration and all your electrolytes and everything sucked out of your fucking corpse. You suck, Man, got I, sucked dry by a prostitute the night before. Matt Brown, you fucking sucked, sucked her tits and came in her ass. Have you ever felt the feeling when you're lying down that you're going to faint? No. Once in my life. Oh man, it is the worst. Oh, when you mean when you're drunk and you get dizzy. Or like if you've had like that long a session, like, you know, a bender for a couple of days and then you sort of wake up and you just like, your oh, body yeah. is just No, I've never had that. You always had that. Energy because you <laughs> haven't eaten for so long. Michael's be so weak. He'd be like, we'd have to go get him food because he couldn't even stand up. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. And I'd have to munch on apples just to get like natural sugars in me. <laughs> like a little injured possum on the side of the road. <laughs> Next question is from Calvin Klein, camera archive. Um, boys, what is the story behind the feet tattoos, and how did it come? Like, how did it come to be? And can Brown get one? Oh, you yeah. the uh, this is for a video, and it is um, uh, what is it? Um, are, to- are shoes are tattoos of shoes the same as shoes, or is ta- or are tattoos of shoes just tattoos so you're checking if tattoos are Which like was, shoes and yeah. stuff like that so we checked to see if tattooing shoes on was the same as wearing actual shoes that was our experiment and the results were amazing yeah we we shouldn't give it away but it's surprising it's not what you think thank you sorry but go watch it final question is from ash and her question is we know you're all we know you guys are interested in sleep paralysis science uh, aliens uh, and, and is there uh, anything uh, we wouldn't sus- uh, do you want me to- <laughs> is, there is there anything, anything we, we wouldn't, wouldn't suspect, suspect that you're interested in so is there anything that you guys are interested in that the people just wouldn't expect oh man tennis dance. still tennis is ddr like- at the arcade dance dance revolution really <laughs> Damn, I wish that was <laughs> true. Imagine if I was going there. No, it's because I've I've seen you play it a few times. Yeah, back when I was like 13, me and my mate. <laughs> you guys are really into unique health things. Like Marty's into cold showers and sometimes cold baths. Oh man, I can't deal with cold. Yeah, That's... but Marty's into that sort of stuff. Yeah, but you never used to be. No, it was only since Wim Hof helped me meditate for the first time in my life. Life, life. James is into some weird health stuff as well. He got the Shakata mat. I don't know. Yeah. The- We're just into natural health stuff. Yeah. Wouldn't say it's weird. I think some of us think it's cool. <laughs> we, what's proud. fucking things that... Oh, hobbies. Um, yeah, sport. Lots of sport we're into. I love boxing. We watch UFC. Top tennis. And cricket. I fucking just can watch cricket for days, cunt. Man, I don't know God. what it is. I, I love cricket more the older I get too. I love watching it. cricket, but I can get that with golf now. I love watching the KO minis of all of the cricket games, every single one. Even when our, Australia's not even involved, I'll watch a fucking five-day test match between England and South Africa, cunt. Wow. Holy shit, really? Yeah, I'm, re- yeah, I'm really into the UFC. At the Man, moment, skateboarding. So. Go buy an involved board. Oh, yeah, we like, yeah, we like the electric boards. That's always a oh. fun day out. 
There's um, a, I'm getting a faster one soon. They go up to like 54 k. You're going to kill hour. yourself. Sorry about that. I'm going to say I'll buy your um, I'm going to oh say no, it. You can't put that out yeah, there. Awesome. Are you all going to kill yourself on one of these boards one day? Your reckless behavior and the fact that they can go 50 k's an hour, that is a combination that is not meant to last. Shotgun your uh, buying, no. buying your other one. No, I'll be safe. I'll put knee pads on. All right. And a helmet. Just put them yeah, all over I'm your body. Get a helmet. <laughs> Just cover yourself in knee pads. Shit. 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 All right, guys. That's the questions for this Shit. week. If you want us to answer your questions, comment your questions in the Mighty Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. And if your question isn't the most liked, just keep commenting the same question because we'll get to it eventually. Have a scroll through, see which questions you want us to answer and give them a like. It's time for the screaming segment. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's time for the fucking screaming segment, you fucking cunt. Oh, man. Holy shit. This is a segment, right, where we just call a random business and I scream at the top of my lungs as loudly as I can. If they make it to 60 seconds without hanging up, I have to say to them, you win this round and then go from there. So they win if they make it to 60 seconds. They hang up, they lose. Oh, fuck. Last week, someone said, remember 55 seconds? I mean, it's a long time to listen to someone scream. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Brown? I don't know how to like... break from my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Pat needs to walk around because he's <laughs> just like a workout. <laughs> this scream's going to be directed right at you, Matt. What's your prediction? I'm calling... Okay, so Matt Brown sing 14 seconds and they'll hang up. I reckon it's going to be 27. Oh, I'm going to say 24. All right, here we go. Like, <laughs> how can I help you? Oh, they hung up immediately. I reckon we do a round two. Oh, Brown, this is fucking luxury. Really, is it good? I love it. You can sort of move. Fly low, 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 low. <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Michael have swapped seats, everyone listening. Oh, this is <laughs> fucking bliss over here. All right, well, that's you it. live in luxury. That's yeah, the well, fucking I only have this for a bit. That's the fucking screaming segment done, boys. All right. Sorry. We now need to move on to the prank call. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to do the prank call. And this week we have a fan prank call. All right, let me just quickly read this. <laughs> hey, Legends, is there any chance you could call one of my friends? He works for his dad's company as a logistics slash delivery manager. It would be fucking gold if you could call him and blast him about a missing delivery. Vague. Oh, it's Jackson. Fuck everything. Here we go. Line to Lockie. Here we go. Jackson. <laughs> Are you there? Yeah, yeah, we're there. We're ready. He's called you, hasn't he? No, he didn't even try to call back. He just texted me and said everything all good. Just finished training. Okay, all right. So it's oh, he's ready now. He's got his phone on him. Okay, fuck. All right, here we go, boys. This is it. Calling now. What did you want me to say again? Um, just say, oh, can you drop me to the doctor um at like nine a.m. tomorrow? That is <laughs> <laughs> <He's> so stupid. <laughs> you're, you're the best, Jackson. <laughs> Didn't quite work out, lad. Oh, for fuck's sake. He literally just walked in the door. Oh, true. True, true, true. All right. Well, fucking looks like he's got us this week. Oh, mate. We failed. Do it. Over the I literally tried to call him right now and I heard him walk oh. through the door as he walked in. I've got a missed call from Jackson. Oh, oh man. That's we don't, hear, 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 we don't really call ever. I don't, like, it's weird. Like, for Loki to receive a call from me or for me to receive a call from him is like almost like alien. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I don't reckon that I've like ever called him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, fucking, he's too good, that l slippery little bean. He's gotten out of our oh, grasp. We just, don't, we just don't really do phone calls unless it's something like extremely serious, which is never. Oh, could you could you put us like um, we'll plan this first? Could you right now put us on loudspeaker and just say a lie to Lockie, and then we can say that we got it? They want me to lie to you. Oh, so they can still put it in. What did this do? <laughs> Wait, what? All right, I just need to do a quick lie, Jeremy. One be one second. Lockie, yeah. I need to go to the doctor's tomorrow at nine in Southport, and I need to go to physio at ten. And I was wondering if you'd be able to come down and get me. 
can you buy a baby seat from Kmart before you come so I can sit in the back seat of the car? Yeah. Okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you, oh, we got you. him. We got you, you idiot. This is a lie. So easy, <laughs> Lachlan. Where to God, these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we failed. So fuck it's a it. Fail. We fuck. lost. All right, we're gonna look. We're gonna. We're gonna. Are you gonna miss us now? We're gone, Lockie. We're gonna find someone else to lie to. Now. I think it. I think it makes sense for something to fail eventually. Otherwise, it's gonna look stupid. Yeah, like no one would believe it. Yeah, it's very true. It's very true. How regularly on a fucking Thursday or a Wednesday can you just lie to this? It's cup? it's been a good run. It's been a good run, and um, we we can do it. You start doing it to my mum. I'll click you a number. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, oh, oh, oh. start ruining her life. Oh no! But so call her like change your podcast times to like two a.m. Wake her up. <laughs> just call her until she fucking answers. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jackson. Well, thanks for trying, dude. We hope your recovery goes well. We'll come see you next week. We got a week off, cunt. You're the best, Jackson. I hope. I hope. See you, baby. All right, brother. Stay faithful. Anyway, so... <laughs> like, are they good? Can I have one? There's a couple left. He's going to fucking nail them down. Um, all right, so right after this snack, we're going to prank call this cunt. <laughs> all our pranks have failed, really, today. Oh, what was the overall time for the scream? Uh, like four seconds. Fastest screaming segment, yeah. Yeah, I reckon with things like they're not going to put up with that. It depends how busy they are too. Like if I'm busy, I'm hanging up immediately. <laughs> I'll hang up straight away. <laughs> Some guy rang the video shop once and he's like, yeah, can I order a pizza? <laughs> And I was hung up. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he would have been thinking he's going to do the best prank call. <laughs> I was fucking hung up straight away. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's call this cunt and say, I'm going to call this fan and his friend and say that I didn't get my delivery. Vegetable. <laughs> so he's not going to answer. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, g'day, mate. Um, hey, g'day, mate. I ordered um like a crate of food off you guys like I think maybe um fourth of last month. Um delivery's meant to arrive on Monday. Um I called the bloke, he said, nah, it's due tomorrow. Uh Tuesday comes and goes, um and now we're sitting on Thursday, right? And I still don't got me order, mate. So um yeah, I'm 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 gonna have to escalate it and that unless someone tells me what's going on here, brother. Hello? Oh, he fucking knew. He fucking knew. See, there you go, guys. Fan prank calls their heart. You know, he might recognize a voice too. He might watch the friggin' flare. If I was a fan, I'd say Marty. Anyway, so we will try the odd fan call, but you can see why we stick to the businesses because it's a, a little less guesswork. Let's call a different shop. Speaking. Um, hey, um, my name's Dakota. Um, I was just looking um, on your guys' um, website and I've just noticed that um, a fair few of the materials you guys are using are um, actually quite destructive on the um, environment. I was just wondering if you had a second to quickly chat about um, some potential impacts of some of the materials that you guys are using or... Um, do you want to talk to a manager or... That would actually be great if we could. Um, if I could speak to the person in charge straight away, that would be the best. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. From choosing a paint color. Oh, God. Put me on hold. Like, hurry up about it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's crazy. Hi. Hello. Um, hello. Um, am I speaking with the owner of Bunnings? Uh, no, I'm not the owner, but I'm one of the managers. How can I help? Right. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've just been looking on um, your websites. Um, and I've yeah. just sort of noticed um, some of the materials you guys are using are actually um, quite damaging to the um, environment. And I'm actually part of um, an activist group that's just going out and spreading awareness um, to some of the places that are sort of misusing uh, materials. So I was just doing kind of like a courtesy call. It's like a favor to you guys just to let you guys know that um, what you're actually doing like some of your materials like are actually using the environment like you're using the environment in your materials and it's actually pretty devastating to like the land yeah like i can appreciate that but yeah. i'm 
yeah, as like part of like our business or what we run, like they do um, try to sustainably resource as much as we can, and there is like protocols in place. Um, yeah, look, in line with that and like responsible resourcing. Um, yeah, I had a look at, like at um, some of those protocols and to be honest, like they're very, um, how can I put this? Like they're not, not actually very good. Like they're not good. Um, and what I've seen is um, that, yeah, I recommend that you maybe update your protocols as such because um, like I said, like you guys are like using like the environment and you're selling the environment to people. Okay. And that in itself, you're making money off of environment. Okay. Like selling wood, et cetera, et cetera. Like trees have to get cut down. Like the wood doesn't come from the ground. Okay. You have to go out and cut trees down to get wood. So it doesn't just grow on trees. So it's for you guys to be doing that. I don't know. It's, um, yeah, it's a poor business model, um, moving forwards because we all want to live on earth for long times. So, um, yeah, I can respect that, mate. And we thank you for um, taking the time to give us that feedback, and we yeah, can pass yeah. that can along. Can you make to sure you actually people? write that down? Because, um, yeah, like write that down, and I'll I'll leave my number in case you guys want to call back. Um, and just yeah, to, no worries. Just to I've, I've actually got it. I've I've actually got it on this phone, so. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually a female. Did you just call me a uh, mate? Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my name's Dakota. I'm actually a female. Okay, Dakota, that's fine. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to it. You have a good night. This is, the, don't, you can't just assume my agenda also like that. So make sure you write that down too. I'm not happy with this service. I have to be honest with you. Stop using, okay. stop using the environment and putting it in boxes and selling it to people. Do you understand? I want my children to live a long, happy life on this earth. And that's not going to happen when you're selling pieces of wood to people and things like metal. Metal comes from the ground, okay? You have to dig that up and put that on shelves and selling that to people. Ridiculous. You fucking coward. <laughs> You've coward. <laughs> oh my fucking God, dude. She's, she's, Dakota's hard to hear out. She's fair. She's fair. Oh my god, that was good. Who was the manager? What's his name? Kleinfood. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Kleinfood did. I think he did very well to put up with her shit. I've had far too much chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Gouged. Gouged. Maxi Tim, Bon and Tim, Tim Tams. But <laughs> oh, fuck, that was man. Dakota is oval team bars. That was so, he must have. I wonder what he was thinking. You wanted to hit her. Yeah, Dakota's a rough bitch. Bunnings. Fuck, she's a rough bitch. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's the end of episode number. 31 don't forget to like comment subscribe and tell help us, us out Shh, tell a friend about us because none of our videos are monetized as you know so we don't get pushed to anyone it's all just been word of mouth this community we've built so let's keep it growing and uh, tell us if you want to um you're in brisbane and if you want to come to a live show yes if we know. when we have our live show we need an idea of numbers so please comment i would go to your live show in brisbane b below uh, if you would come okay you have to actually come though you can't just say, "Yo, oh, that sounds cool." Yeah. We're gauging the numbers, like that's how we. <laughs> yeah, help us, please. At nine weeks, we're gauging the numbers. Yeah. So fucking get out there and get it done and suck a fun and blunt done, bro. You ready? Uh, Do it, we're the best. We're the best. We're, we're the best. best. We're the 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 best. 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 Best.